way Stony Brook prepared me for success was providing me with the raw skills I needed to be successful and the opportunity to think in an entrepreneurial way while I was in school so that when I left I was successful. I was always interested uh, in computers. They kind of give you a superpower. Um, they can accelerate kind of what you're thinking um, at any moment and, and, and kind of get you to a, uh, an answer that you couldn't get to just on your own. So that kind of fascinated me as, as a kid. The way I ultimately got to Stony Brook was I had applied to a few state schools in high school. It was kind of the only way I was going to be able at the time to afford college. Um, I was going to pay for it myself. I was going to take out loans and so um, I went the public route versus the private route. I knew computer science was interesting to me. I initially spent a year at Oneonta but then transferred to Stony Brook because of the computer science program and also the math program at the time. I was looking for a place that I could learn but also figure out how I can buy enough time to kind of figure out how not to get a job. And that may seem weird at first, but um, what I was doing was setting myself up to have a job as a backstop to try to shoot towards something more entrepreneurial and kind of this bigger goal I had, which was ultimately to start a business. The one class I remember uh, was operating systems. I remember it being a really challenging class, but I learned a ton. But at one moment in the class, and I'm definitely dating myself here, but Yahoo was going public. Um, and um, I remember uh, the, our professor telling us uh, how you know, there, there's kind of a balance between risk and reward. We can kind of take a riskless path by getting a job and kind of working our way up the ranks, or you can choose to take a more risky path and shoot for something bigger, and that's what that, the, the team at Yahoo had done at the time. And I remember leaving that class and reading all about um, exactly how that worked, how the company went public, what they did before, um, and exactly kind of uh, what that risk reward profile meant. It also taught me really fast about kind of um, the value of time and uh, early on in your career there are uh, more chances to take more risks. And I remember that was a very important point in my thinking about kind of what I wanted to do, how I wanted to do it, and how I was going to interpret that risk reward profile for myself. My goal was to ultimately build a company. The only way to, to, to really learn how to build a company is to jump right in. And so that's what I did. And my time at Stony Brook was, I mean, I graduated in 96. It was when the internet was, was a new kind of breeding ground for different types of commercial ventures. And I was, would try anything. There were a lot of times I failed. There were some that worked out. And every once in a while, there's a Shutterstock uh, that kind of comes out of that. There isn't one impactful, memorable moment because building a business is a series of millions of incremental steps. And the accumulation of the millions of different kind of changes to your product over many years that influence your customers, those all add up to the ultimate goal and the ultimate thing we're proud of here. Today, our AI efforts are mostly around um, image search and different ways that we sort our images and present them to, to users. So you can search for similar images, you can upload an image that you've seen somewhere that you'd like a commercial version of and we will show you a commercially released version of that image. We actually think a lot about how to apply it the other way. So how, do, how you know, is there a way we can tell you that this image is authentic? Is there a way that we can tell you that this image has not been modified? Um, and the same algorithms that can kind of get you to create something that didn't exist before um, can also, we hope, tell you that an image uh, hasn't been modified or altered in, in a way that can hurt your business, for instance. Looking back on my career and thinking about my future, I feel more optimistic than ever on the future of Shutterstock and the opportunities that, that we have. If I had one piece of advice, when you're in college, right after you graduate from college, there's a very important time period there where you can take more risk. You can try to start a business. College is not too early to do that. I think if you can carve out some time to kind of try to figure out how to be entrepreneurial, if that's what you're interested in, earlier the better.